Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. We're back on Tinker World today. And uh, today, it's uh, I don't really have any specific plans yet, but I think uh, we'll do some things here and there and let's just kind of play it by ear. One of the first things I really wanted to do was I wanted to do a one hour mining session because I haven't done that in a little while. And uh, I really want to get some more resources. That's uh, kind of good to have. I have enough diamonds. Um, I've been selling a lot of the iron and things. So if you see here, I've got some stacks of diamonds. Things are going really well with that. But I always like to have more. So I thought I would do a mining session right now. Now, I'm going to do either one hour or if I run out of torches. Basically, I want to get a full stack of torches and I need to make more. So yeah, and then we're going to go use the uh, fortune pick here to uh, make whatever resources we have. If we get diamonds and things afterwards, we'll fortune pick them and get uh, the actual diamonds. So to start out this video, we're going to do a one hour mining session. You know the drill. Put down in the description what you think, or in the description, in the comment section, what you think I will uh, get as far as the number of diamonds. And let's see if anybody can get it right. Now don't cheat, okay? So let me uh, go get ready, for, uh, the resources ready to go, and we'll start this up. I'm all out of torches, so that's the end of this mining session. I'm going to run back here, but I'll show you what I have. Uh, as far as diamonds, I only got three diamond blocks. That's not a lot for this run, so that might get me six diamonds. Not a lot. I got a decent amount of iron here, iron here, a lot of coal and things. Not a lot of diamonds. So let me go back and get this kind of sorted out, and I'll tell you the exact number of diamonds. Well, here's the lonely little three diamond blocks. Let's see what we get out of this. <laughs> three diamonds and we use the fortune three pick well that was just terrible so <laughs> the number for today in this run oh it's a dismal three diamonds it's time to check on our shops let's go see how much iron we have here oh a little over three stacks that's not bad okay let's go on over to the shop in the nether and see if we've had any sales and see uh do a little restocking i guess Okay, let's see it. Check our the sales. Rockets. Nobody's buying rockets. Nobody likes rockets for some reason. How about iron? Wow, iron. We got a lot of iron sold. Wow. And some emeralds. I'm not sure why people gave me emeralds, but heck. That's all I have, people, right now. I'll have to get more iron. Uh, shulker boxes. Those are all emptied. I emptied those out. Now, over here, I started selling Unbreaking 3 books and uh, Mending books. Uh, these have All of these have mending on them. And I haven't sold any of those. And all these of Unbreaking 3. I haven't sold any of those. So, uh, yeah, 27 more diamonds. Works out for me. Let me go put that back, and then we're going to do the next thing in this episode. So, I'm over by the Iron Farm. And what I'm going to do today, I think, is something that really annoys me is I have to keep getting a boat or I have to fly over here to get the resources. Why not have the resources go over to someplace where I can get them? So I want to make a dropper system that then goes into a water stream that will flow over that way. So if the dropper's right here, let's say right where that, that this part of the chest is, what we're gonna do is that is we're gonna have a row here. This is where the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, packed ice is gonna be. That's gonna carry the items all the way across. So we're gonna make this all the way over this way, and then we'll probably have some sort of dropper elevator or maybe in a, a regular uh, item elevator, take it up a little bit and have it go over, and I'll probably put it over by this, the fish farm. Okay, so that's what's going on next. We just have to go like this and start to do this. I wonder if I can do this easily with packed dice. I guess so. So we're going to do this first. And then uh, after I get done with this, I will be on the next step. I've got the line finished going up to that corner. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to encase that in glass so we can see what's going on. Not, not glass there, obviously. Um, but we'll put this all in glass, and then I can start to put the water down. And we'll have a water stream system, and that'll work really well. So let me just go this and run this all the way down, and we'll see how that looks. 
The next step it's going to make in is the dropper system that pushes out the materials. There's the dropper. We'll make the whole comparator system and making that so it goes out. So if you recall from my last little uh, videos that I've done, this is a very simple process. I'll make this right here out of sand. So we have a lot of sand built up here. Okay. So if you remember, the items are going into here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a comparator. It's grabbing a lot of these poppies. I don't need that comparator, which then goes into a repeater. Okay. And we're going to have a block right beside it on a solid block. We're going to use another sand here. Let's see, we're picking up all these poppies. That's funny. The repeater goes into that block, right? Okay. And then you take redstone right from here and under and all the way around. And I just fell down. And there it goes. As you can see, it starts to fly down the way. Now, what's going to go on is we're going to have a water stream, which will push. And then wherever this break is that you see here, we're going to put in a slab on the upper half. So what happens is the items will flow underneath, and then we'll have another water stream right here, which I need to go get. Okay, so we'll go get that right now. And it goes right here. And you see the items get pushed. And that's the idea. So we'll do this water stream system all the way down. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cap it with some more glass. Okay. So we'll do that there. See like this. So it's covered up. Items can't get out. Now if you're standing like really close to items, you might pick up the items. But that's okay. Um, that won't happen very often. So uh, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to finish this up and get this running all the way to the corner. Okay. I know we'll lose a little bit here, but that's okay. So let me just uh, finish this up and we'll be back. Okay, so now we've got this whole system done. It's a big pipe, basically, going from over here with the dropper all the way over to there, which is a corner. And I haven't done anything else going over this way. But if anything drops, what will happen is, like I, you saw before, it'll go into this dropper, which will activate, and it'll go on flying down this way. So if we go over here to the end of this, you can see some things. Now, some of this stuff like poppies, I don't care about. They're stuck in the spot. That's because when I was building it, they got pushed there. But they're, normally, they would fly right through. It's not a problem. Okay, so I don't see any items yet, but sometimes you'll see some fly by as you're doing it. But then we go all the way over here. Now, right here is the corner. And I'm thinking that this spot right here, I want to go all the way over. Because if you look, it goes right beside the building there. Okay, so I'm, that's what I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to go underground for this. Okay, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to just start digging this way. Okay, and I need to actually dig it uh, probably too high. Like that, because that's where the, uh, what you call it, the ice is going to go. So let me go do that. Let's dig this out. Let's get over to the other side and see if we can figure out uh, where we're going to end up. Okay, cool. I'm over at the fish farm, kind of underneath it. And what I've done is I've done the cascading chest idea on this side. This is the fish farm. And the cascading chest comes down to here, but it comes over here. And I guess I dropped this hopper into here. But this is where the iron will end up. Okay. And I'll, I'll fix this to make this look better. But basically, it comes through here. And if you look all the way down there, that's where the corner is. So I have to put in now all of this uh, packed ice, get the water and everything set up so it all runs to right here. So that's my next step is just to get this all looking correct. All righty. All of the water is in place. You can see it's going into there just perfectly fine. So what I need to do is I need to basically cover this up. So we're going to just use glass again. So I'm going to put one here and put one here. I don't care about that little spot. We'll cover this area up. You fall down in little spots. So it uh, will be working. Now, it should be functioning right now. So if any uh, iron golems spawn, they will get killed. They will then drop their drops, and it should shoot on through here. So hopefully, and I'm out of glass. So we will just uh, make it temporarily. We're going to cover this up with some dirt. There we go. Now it's raining. Let me uh, go get some more glass. I want to pretty that up a little bit more and uh, make sure it's running. All that's left here is to cover up this corner. But I'm going to do a little quick test because I haven't seen anything go through here yet. So I'm going to throw something that I don't. I know that doesn't come from that place. So wait, here goes some iron. See it? That's cool. I'll throw a couple fish in there too. Make sure it goes into the system. Okay. Wow, that was a nice little test. We're gonna cover it all up, and there we go. It should be sealed, 
And that iron that came from the iron farm should now be transported over to the chest series that I have inside the fish farm. Let's go check. This should be really cool. Shouldn't take us long to get there, so we'll just go in. We'll head on down. And hopefully everything worked right. If not, i got to figure out what. So we'll go down here. This is where, like I said, I've got all my fish farm stuff over here. But over here is iron. And there it is. Beautiful. So now, when I go and do AFK fishing, I can be over here. And then I can come down here and gather all the resources. I don't have to keep going over to the iron farm every time. Because that was a pain, getting over there without the boat. and uh, Or with a boat. and with uh, Or flying. So... But yeah, that's it. So every so often, you'll just see little like things just flying down the chute. Excellent. Well, everybody, that's really all I have time for today. My schedule, because of my work, um, has really severely limited the amount of time that I have to do the Minecraft and do streaming. Um, and I do want to do both, and I'm trying to do both, um, but it's really, really making it hard at the moment. Uh, the other thing that's happening is that school has started, and so because school has started, I have to work out um, a schedule for... Um, pause player 10 so it's that's been kind of hard um, you know bus schedules and figuring out plans so once things settle down here shortly um, I'm hoping to get back to a little bit better of a schedule and getting more content out to you all so um, I would like to uh, you know ask for those likes if you like this video please keep those likes coming that's great um, if you have any comments please put them in the comment section you know what I would like to see is uh, if you have any comments on some things you'd like me to build um, I'm Considering bringing up a series of it's a creative mode, it's a survival mode, something that I can do to uh, practice building and decorating, some sort of um, you know where I start to make a world out just out of survive or um, creative mode, where I can build little houses and work on decorating techniques and things. And I'm hoping that the user community, you guys out there, will be able to uh, give me some ideas on some things. So, so like I said, if you have any, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.